draw the locus of points that are 4 cm from K. Let's take the ruler and the compass and measure 4 cm. That would be this. So locus from a point is a circle. So let's put it here around here, K and draw a circle. So this is a circle. The next question is equidistant from K and L. That means uh, locus from two points bisecting a line. So let's bisect the line. So the first thing that we do is we join the line with a we join the two points and then uh, we take the compass at a distance more than half the line that is more convenient so we draw an arc around here and then we draw another arc over here we put the compass again at the other end and draw two more arcs one below and the other above Next, we take a ruler and we join these two points. So, now we have the other locus. The question is, on your diagram, shade the region that represents all the points that are closer to L than K and are less than 4 from K. So, we have for shading, we have two things to keep in mind. Less than 4 cm from K and closer to L than K. So closer to L means uh, this side of the locus because this is a locus. So this is K, this is L. Closer to L means on the right side. And this is 4 cm from K. So less than 4 cm means this side. So when we have to shade this, the shading should be closer to L and less than 4. So that's how it should be. On the diagram, draw accurately the locus of points which are equidistant from AC. AC, that means uh, we have to bisect the line. So let's draw the perpendicular bisector. So we take the compass and we take the distance more than half the length. So let's make an arc over here in the middle. During construction, don't worry if it crosses the picture that is given in the question. It doesn't really matter. So don't worry about that. So then we put it here and then do two arcs over here. I hope whether it will be in the picture crosses below. Okay, we have to manage with that and this crosses here. Okay, now let's take the ruler. So that's the line. Now one thing is very important in construction you have to make sure the lines are very long so that they intersect with each other. That is an essential part of the question that it intersects. So the next part is equidistance from B and C. So B and C. So we have to construct the perpendicular bisector of BC, this line over here. So let's take the compass. So we put it here. Let's take more than half of the line. So one arc would be over here, over here, and the other one would be over here. So these are the two arcs. Then let's bring the compass over to the other side and then draw two more arcs one is here and the other crosses over okay now let's take the ruler again and join them okay now the next question is we have to draw accurately the circle with center O so where is O? O is equidistance from a, B, C. Now, always remember this is a rule of thumb. 
when you have a locus drawn and you have another locus drawn so first we drew this locus like this then we drew this locus like this and we are looking for the center O which is ABC that means point of intersection of the locus so that that is the that's a very common question so the point that we're looking for is usually the point of intersection of the two previous locus apart from that there is also a circle theorem a proposition in Euclid's elements that when you have a circle the perpendicular bisector of the chords suppose this is a chord this is a chord this is a chord so this is a perpendicular bisector of the chord this is a perpendicular bisector of the chord the perpendicular bisector of the chord passes through the center of the circle so that's a proposition so all we have to do is take the point of intersection of the two locus that is the rule of thumb always that's how it works and draw the circle with center O and radius OA so we'll take our compass so center O so this is this is what it is so the center is get rid of this okay. so this is the center and the radius is this length OA so this is the radius so when we draw the circle so the circle would be like this it's a perfect circle so we have to construct the perpendicular bisector of BC so this is BC we have to construct the perpendicular bisector of BC so let's do that that's should be simple so let's get the compass here so to bisect BC we put the compass here take half the length of the line more than half the length of the line and we draw two arcs over here one over here the other at the other end so like this then we put the compass to the other side at C now and then we draw an arc here and draw another arc over here again it crosses over the board so anyway we join the two lines so that's the perpendicular bisector so the next portion is uh, after perpendicular bisector of BC we have to uh, find the angle bisector of ABC so ABC is this angle over here so in order to construct that we need the compass again so we put the compass to this side and then we draw an arc over here then we take the compass here and we can either keep the distance or we can make the distance even longer that way the arc would be clearer so I'm taking a longer distance over here and keeping the same distance you put the compass over here and you put another arc over here and then you join it so that's the angle bisector now one common question after that is what we have to do we might have to mark on the diagram a point uh, which is both an angle bisector and also a perpendicular meaning the question would be uh, mark the point X on the diagram which is both equidistance from uh, BC and also from the line uh, a, B and B, C, so which means the point of intersection of the two locus, that's a rule of thumb. Now this is pretty difficult question compared to the usual stuff that we see in the exams. Now this is quite a number of uh, locus that we have. The first one is that we have to find point E. So it is 8 centimeter from A, that means locus, locus from one point which is a circle and equidistant from two lines CD and CB so equidistant from two lines CD and CB means you have to bisect this angle so this is A, B, C and this is D so 8 centimeter from A that means so let's take that measurement so we put it here and we take the length of 8 centimeter and then we draw the arc 
so let's put it at the point A and draw that. It is important that it crosses throughout the picture so that nothing is left out because we have other construction to do where it has to intersect with other lines. The next question that it has to be the locus equidistant from CD and CB that we have to bisect this angle. Locus of two points is bisecting the angle. So let's let's do that. Let's bring the compass over here. So in order to bisect an angle, the first thing that we do make out an angle like this. So let's make an angle over here. Then we put the compass over here. Uh, I'm going to take a longer length for convenience. It doesn't matter if we keep the same length. So one arc over here. And then the other one over here. So this arc was not longer. I have to go back and draw that, you know, redo. Okay. It should intersect. Okay, now it's fine. Now uh, we have to draw a line from this angle, this point, to this point. Make sure it is all the way so it crosses all the lines. We have perpendicular bisector of AD that means locus from two points locus from two points this is locus from two lines okay so locus for two points means perpendicular bisector and we have 11 centimeter from BC that is a circle locus from one point so we have more locus to work on. So AD, so this is AD, so perpendicular bisector of AD, that would be, so we have to take the compass over here, AD, take the distance uh, more than half, that should be good enough, and then draw the arc. One over here, and the other over here and then two more arcs one over here and the other over here and let's join it with a scale so this is the locus of point this perpendicular bisector is the locus of points from uh, A and D now the other one is 11 centimeter from B so this is B around here so we have to take our uh, ruler ag again and we have to measure measure the compass. One thing is important, the construction that we do on paper, uh, that measurement would be a bit different from the one that I'm doing on screen, but the, the logic and the technique is the same. So the final thing that we have to do, once those two points are marked, E and F, uh, we have to measure the angle. this angle FDE, we have to take the protractor. This is how you measure with the protractor. And then you adjust it. Okay. Now, this measurement is going to be a bit different from the one you get on paper, but the idea is the same. 
so the zero is over here. There's another zero to the other side. So the, we need to measure from here. So this is the line. The line should have been longer for us to measure that would be better. Longer. the line. So now, so what we can measure is 0 degrees, 40, 50, around 51 degrees. So on the screen uh, construction that we have, it might be much lower than that on paper, but the logical sense. This is how we measure it. 